Hi everyone and welcome to Cami Rose Yoga. I'm Camille and this is our first video ever. I'm so excited to share this journey of yoga with you. Just a little bit of a background of where Cami Rose came from. The term Cami Rose or the name Cami Rose really incorporates um, my first name and my middle name, both of which are really crucial to who I am. My first name, Camille. I really like the term Cami Rose, and Rose is my middle name, and it comes from my great grandmother who passed away just a few short months before I was born. But while I've been raised my entire life, I've always been told and taught of her love for others and her generosity and her vivacity for life, how she was so loving towards others. So I've really felt like my middle name has really been able to help me search for those things in my life. So hence Cami Rose Yoga. I am a yoga teacher in the beautiful Rocky Mountains of Utah and I absolutely love yoga. My journey to yoga started just a few short years ago. I was really struggling in my life and I really wasn't feeling a lot of peace and happiness and love for my life and love for others and I really was praying and searching for something that would help me be able to feel that happiness and that joy and peace that comes with living a fulfilling life and so I miraculously was able to find yoga. Um, yoga actually found me. It kind of just popped up on one of my social media screens and I've been hooked ever since. I've been so inspired by the postures and so inspired by other people that practice yoga and just learning from them and being able to grow. It's just an amazing practice and an amazing journey. I feel that yoga for me was kind of given to me as a gift. It's been a huge part of my life and really changed my life. And so the best part about being a yoga instructor is that I'm able to give that gift, the gift of yoga, to others and I'm able to see it change their life and better their lives. I'm able to see them feel more happiness and peace and tranquility and just overall I've seen yoga better people's lives and it's such a miraculous and wonderful and exciting thing to be able to see that every single time I teach yoga. One of the things I really love about yoga is that it's very personal to the individual. Whenever I'm teaching, I always tell my students, it's your practice, make it, make it personal to you. Make yoga your practice, yours. Make it, an, make it an individual practice for you. You know, if you want for your yoga practice that day to be something more spiritual, you wanna focus on the spiritual side of things, yoga can do that for you. You can focus on your breath, you can focus on opening up your heart, um, increasing your focus, uh, finding peace. If you want your yoga practice to be something more emotional to help you heal emotionally, you know, you can maybe just work on calming your mind and really being able to find that internal peace. Uh, if you want your yoga practice to be more physically driven, then you can do that. You can hold postures for longer. You can add arm balances in there to increase your strength. You can, you know, hold a balancing posture to increase your balance and add a little bit of heat. You can increase your flexibility. No matter what you need in your life, yoga will help you get there. And the great thing about your practice is you can make it personal to you. So I always tell my students, you can hold something if you want to hold something for a little bit longer. You can skip a posture if you don't want that posture and it doesn't feel good for you today. You can add something into your practice that I'm not teaching you but you feel you really need. I'm very excited to be sharing this journey of yoga with you. Please subscribe to the channel, um, make comments, find a yoga community within this channel and I really hope that you're able to feel the benefits of yoga and I'm excited to practice with you. Namaste.